Hello amazing and beautiful people, I'm Roxanne and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a hotelier and on my channel, I will be posting videos about arts, beauty, fashion, skincare, and lifestyle. In this video, you will learn the basic oil painting tools for beginners like me. So shout out to Harleen as I read her post on my Lady Chanel um, oil painting. She requested to have the list of tools. So be sure to subscribe and feel free to comment down below. You may also consider clicking the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's get started. So I am here in our living room because this is where I set my up. office now. This is where I set up my art section. Thanks to my villa mates because they are very supportive and allowing me to use this space. I have here all the items that can be found at any local art supply store and these are absolutely necessary for beginners who wanted to start painting. First thing you'll need are oil paints and lots of it. I got this one from Home Center as set. Later on, I discovered Windsor & Newton Winton oil paint. They have a wide variety of colors you can choose from and the quality is fine but it's less expensive compared to other brands. Next, you'll need brushes. Just grab few round brushes in small, medium, and large sizes. You don't need to buy this time every single sizes because later on you'll learn what shapes and sizes you need. I bought mine from home center in set it has palette knives as well then you'll need a palette this is where you mix your paint you can use piece of glass or ceramic or even disposable palette sold at art supply store then i got here solvent and mediums Solvents are used to break down a thin oil paint and it makes the oil paint dry faster. I also use this to clean my brushes. Then I have here Eliquin oil painting medium. I use this to thin the paint and it helps the drying time of conventional color. And then linseed oil. This will make the paints more fluid, transparent, and glossy. It reduces the consistency of your oil colors and slows down their drying time. And it makes excellent medium for most types of oil painting. I got here this easel to keep myself from hunching back while painting. I got this cute little easel at the bookstore at a very affordable price. Then you'll need a painting surface. I have here a canvas which I got from a bookstore. It has 10 sheets and it's ideal for acrylic and oil painting. I always buy a pre-primed canvas so I don't have to worry preparing the surface. Because oil paint is opaque, I use a soft broad pencil to map out the shapes and then paint over. I always sketch out before transferring to my canvas. That's why I have here my drawing book or you can use your empty notebook. By this way, I can ensure that the proportions are accurate and it's a good way to work out your composition ahead of time. I will also list down additional materials you'll need you can find at home when you want to start oil painting. You'll need newspaper, rugs, or paper towels to wipe out the paint from your brushes. Jars to keep your clean brushes separate. And the other one you'll use in cleaning your brushes. I normally clean my brushes with paper towels and with dishwashing soap. You will also need painting clothes to avoid getting spotted with paint. Guys, just a disclaimer, I'm not a professional artist. I just started painting in February, so I'm as well learning. I do have a regular job, so painting is 
my hobby and it's a way to express myself and to relax so that's all guys thank you for watching and i hope this video is helpful please do not forget to like and subscribe see you again